What's up? It's George the Fragrance Apprentice, and today I have a very special guest. It's. Jesus Christ. And um, and uh, what is what is your name? Alicia. This is Alicia. How are we doing on the green screen, Rick? It's all over the shop. Can we? Come in, come in, come in. Right, all right. Today we are going to be reviewing fragrances, aren't we? Yes, George. You're really tall. Can we? Can we? Can we get a box? <laughs> Could we get a box, please? On my shoulders. <laughs> come here. <laughs> so the first fragrance. <laughs> That's it. Come on, we gotta figure something out. I don't know what we're gonna. I can. Just give me a fucking minute, all right? <laughs> Stop the box! It's gonna collapse. What is? The box. This will be fine. Is this your good arm? Yes. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the compliment factor. So today we are going to be um, reviewing a few fragrances, aren't we? Um, do you mind? This is very, this, I don't think this is a laughing matter, Alicia. No, George, it's We're not. We're doing a serious fragrance review. Right, on to the first fragrance. So the first fragrance that we're gonna be reviewing on the compliment factor today is Instant Crush. Now you tried this. What did yeah. you think, Alicia? It's actually one of my favorites. Um, it even beat Steers along with the Brave? Well, I wasn't too fond of this fragrance. Um, I didn't think it was all, all that good. I think that this is one of the greatest fragrances that I've ever smelt from Mansara. They've really done a good job with this one. Um, I would even say that it sm smells very similar to... Bah. I think it really smells very similar to... I'm going to need more. Now I'm going to need the stronger stuff. Just, uh, okay. Oh, George, what if I told you about going through my drawers? No, that's, that's for after the shoot. Anyway, could you please just hold this? I'm going to have to, just because we're talking about, about instant. I lie better when I'm drinking whiskey. Okay. You look really beautiful today, by the way. It smells really like Baccarat Rouge by Fo <laughs> Oh, it's such a great fragrance. It's a really fucking good fragrance. Absolutely brilliant. This video is not sponsored at all. All right, honestly though, for real, I thought that this fragrance was pretty fucking generic. Can you even see me? I thought this fragrance was a little bit generic. I didn't actually think it was that good. I don't think it smells like Baccarat Rouge 540 at all. I thought it was pretty pleasant, but you like it, don't you? I really like it. Yes. And that's, that's an honest, that is actually honest. Mancera haven't paid her. Or no. Yet. I have nothing to do with none of that. No, but what do you, what kind of a chap would you recommend this to? A manly man. Like a... Like me. A gym man. M my name's George. Maybe not George. You're talking Stephen and Mel, Thor, those type of men. I've got a... So have you seen got, me? Have unless you, you've got a strong hammer, I think you're feeling that. Have you seen? Have you seen my long hair? I look exactly like Chris Hems with the with the long hair. Can we move on to the next fragrance, please? Thank you. Listen, all right, this is really fuck. <laughs> right, we're gonna have to figure this out, Rick. You're gonna have to. Rick, could you... The green screen's not working. Could you please... Just stand here for the rest of my life. Yeah, of course, I can. I'm paying you for this. Come on. Yeah, okay. I don't go. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, there we go. Please don't make those sounds. Right, okay. I'll make it. Whatever sounds I want. All right. Okay, so thank you, Rick. All right, ne right on to the next fragrance. So we're looking at the Aqua de Palmas and the new Aqua de Palmas Osmanthus. What did you think of that one? Yeah, I actually really like it. Again, it's kind of strong, yeah. manly, spicy. Yeah. Yeah. 
like me. A kick in the nose. <laughs> I actually liked Osmanthus quite a lot. I thought that it was very nice. I've actually got it on me. It's kind of like a fruity floral, um, very watery, which is what Aqua de Palma are quite known for. And it's got a really good amount of fruity pep to it, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. Which is kind of like a, a, a good punch in the nose, as you quite so eloquently put it. A bit like you, like you eloquently put it. Yeah, okay, cool. Jesus I thought you meant like a punch in the nose. <laughs> I'll punch you in the... Where the fuck is this third Aqua de Palma? Rock, uh, where have you hidden it? They're all Osmanthos, aren't they? That one isn't as Fucking hell, I could... Stop releasing so much fucking shit! Rick! You're a professional, come on, mate. Sorry, I just got it now. Stick my bum on it and it stops it from moving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you do that. Uh, this one is this one is called um, San 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 Sandalo. I don't know. What do you think? Don't like that one. No, that one is a little bit old manny. That one is a little bit not old manny from Cascade Sense. I mean, old man ish, as in it's very um... cigar by the fireplace. There's actually a fragrance called by the fireplace. It's actually really good. I'll show Does you. Does it smell time. anything like that? No. This one smells um, putrid and smells... It's it's nice. It's good for people who are, like, over 40 and over 50 and, you know, own a lot of cats and dogs. I'd say maybe over 60. Okay, fine. So it's a it's an older smell that isn't as, as good, maybe. But, yeah, it's not... I kind of like it and I could recommend it to some of my viewers who are a little bit older, but for a younger person like myself... And you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't smell that and be like, yeah, I've got to grab you and take you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever actually said that sentence to anybody no. whilst wearing their fragrance? Please, no, tell them, tell them it's true. It'll earn me subscribers. Tell them it'll get yes, me to 10,000. I've, I've said it to every man I've ever been with. <laughs> Please make it stop. Right. <laughs> Expecting a 1-800 number to come across the bottom right now. <laughs> this is how you get through to my line. <laughs> Just wear this fragrance. Right. So yeah, Alicia, you are a woman, so you are fully qualified for this question. Do fragrances get you laid? Um, Just checking that I was definitely a woman. Um, uh, you seem to be. I think... A fragrance can make a man more attractive. Yeah, you could just tell him to get... Just, just the... fucking tell them. Just sell them on the dream, all right? What do you mean? Listen, here's the deal, right? I want them to think that fragrances get them laid, right? Because then we'll earn, like, a shit ton of views and a shit ton, ton yeah, of Yeah, it gets subscribe. you laid. No, don't tell if them. You the no, right no, 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 no. We aren't, we aren't shooting yet. We aren't shooting yet. Right. You, we're, we're just going to tell don't, them. Don't help Jeremy. We're just going to tell... No, we're going to tell them that fragrances get them laid and then we're just going to make a fucking ton, ton of money and they'll all fall for it. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, fuck. Okay, next fragrance is Libre from the house of Yves Saint Laurent. Now, they have Lom Libre, and this isn't the same thing. This is Libre for women. Like you, you're one of those, right? With the, with the hair. Yeah. I saw Right, okay, cool. So, what did you think of Libre by Yves Saint Laurent? It wasn't for me. Right. It was a bit too bland. Right. Yeah, it, 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 it yeah. hit, it missed the mark, massively right. missed the mark. That's a very technical term. Yes, uh, I thought that it was kind of fruity. Um, it's just basically uh, opium again. It's black opium again. It's the same fragrance. Yves Saint Laurent have, are basically releasing the same fragrance over and over again when it comes to their women's fragrances. So this is just like whatever. Yeah, again, a reset of trying to make one better, but but they didn't. Not getting the no. goal. So that's a thumbs down. Massive thumbs down. Massive thumbs down. Yves Saint Laurent. Come on, you can do better than that. We or... want something sweet. Well, I do. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, Alicia, um, I've got uh, wood. So, George's got wood then. 
well, there's a first time for everything. So, uh, yes, I've got wood, and it is D squared's um, wood. Now, this was actually released last year. Somebody actually said to me that this was released this year, and I believe them because D squared's releases are so fucking forgettable that nobody even remembers that they released anything last year. This is the constant pain that I have to go through, Alicia. You don't understand. This is the first episode for you. I've been doing this for four episodes. Four episodes. <laughs> you don't understand the pain. Thank you. Could I... I'll just take it from the bottle. Thank, Thank you. God, he's been back in the drawers again. You're going to hold his cork this time. Maybe next time. Are we doing the compliment factor or a fucking carry on film? Right. Please stop. We are in 2019. <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to do carry on films now, would you? You no. just wouldn't be able to do it. So this is, um, this is, uh, this is wood. <laughs> This is wood. Just go for it. Enjoy yourself. Oh, now I've got to smell you, wood. Oh my fucking god, please stop! Don't right. go against the grain. <laughs> so this is D squared's uh, wood, and um, what do you think? Smell the bark mad. I think that, please, I think that um, this just smells like every freaking... Your wood smells great. Thank you. That's a really weird compliment when I think about it. I mean, this is the compliment factor, and as it goes for the compliment factor, this is pretty weird. It's a normal day for me. No, I need to... Do you want some? Okay. Why am I doing this to myself? Anyway, right. So yeah, uh, wood by uh, D squared is the again. It's the it's the same shit. They can't not make the same shit. It's the same fragrance as all of the he wood fragrances. They literally have a whole line called he wood and she wood. It's twenty nineteen. Don't judge. No, no, he wood, she wood. She can have wood now. <laughs> That was not what I was referring to. But... I think this smells like generic shit, and it sucks, and it's not very good. It smells alright. You didn't like it beforehand. It, it, it's not as bad as... The wood's growing on it. Yeah. <laughs> Both of you, stop it. I'm going to get fucking demonetised for this. That's going to be it for me. Right, but yeah, it's a very generic fragrance that absolutely is terrible and doesn't... It, it's not good. It's not what um, I would have expected from D-squared. And yeah, so that's awful. So I would give that a thumbs down, but you'd give that a thumbs up. I'd give that a thumbs in the middle. Okay, cool. Ah! <laughs> right, well, um, catch us. We're going to be doing a d designer list tomorrow. Uh, Alicia's going to be ra rating some designer fragrances. And we'll probably do another compliment factor in which I will show her some of the best releases from 2019. And she will get to rate them. So until we see you next week. And the Frankenstein sounds your Alicia. Good. Goodbye. <laughs>